Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kiana Daniel, the founder of the Investiva movement. 2020 has started off with one tragedy after another, including the fires in Australia, the coronavirus outbreak, and now a deadly helicopter crash that took the life of one of America's biggest NBA stars, Kobe Bryant, which got almost everyone in the U.S. heartbroken. We're now heading into the last week of January, keeping an eye on the FOMC rate decision, the Bank of England rate, and Canada's GDP on top of the list. Today I'm looking at the Aussie dollar pair, which has just broken below the daily Ichimoku cloud after the sell-off started beginning of January. We'd normally take this as a strong bearish signal, however, right now we have an even stronger support level waiting to cap the pair's losses at 0.6760 and another one at 0.6699. So if you are looking to short the Aussie dollar pair on the continued downtrend, I'd limit the run at these two levels and wait for a future signal to manage the risk properly. Now I'd like to hear from you. Do you think the recent bearish Ichimoku signal is a fake out? Or do you think the support levels will break this time as the fires continue in Australia? Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and other social media. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.